Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode. In the last episode we got the barn up, but we were only fortunately were able to buy one cow. I will be trying to purchase a second cow. Yes, I know, exciting. Still testing out the forest tree and maple versus the birch tree, which suck. Um, but I'm going to test it for science. They appear to be growing a little bit faster than my last playthrough. It does appear that they're now cutting down hmm, some of this stuff. They should only really be cutting it down if it's at maturity, which is like seven wood for a birch tree. So, and yeah, we're we're just kind of in that build-up phase now where we're just increasing production. I just built a second cobbler because I do have a kind of surplus of pelts and shoes are great. We're actually running through shoes pretty quickly, so that will definitely be needed. Might even get another basket shop up because baskets have just been a tremendous trade item. Wouldn't be actually the worst idea that I've had. So let's do it. Let's get another basket shop up um, right here. We're just going to build another basket shop. And that will give us two of those puppies. And these things sell for like uh, 20 gold. So that's an easy 200, 250 gold. Which isn't bad. It's about 100 gold per person. Right now we just really need money. So, I mean, as long as I'm making over 100 gold per person. And you can just see they, they brought in the incapacitated bodies. So they will... Seek medicine and heal here, but weird looking 16 year old. He's still there, but he is healing. You can see that he's healing. He was down here. Now he's midway. Yep. Now he's green. Cool. So it works. Knew it was working. Now I have visual proof. We still have, uh, I've selected everyone just to go out and get stone. So we have lots of stone to acquire, but we are making really, eesh. got some serious disease here. Hmm. Maybe I'll do this. What do I got going on here? Peas and beans and buckwheat beans and peas. So I got two diseases really eaten in. That's the problem with buckwheat. All right, cool. So we're switching out. We're going to uh, go with wheat here to offset that. Um, hopefully that will get things on track. So we'll just do wheat on that one. You know what? Screw it. Let's do wheat on all of them. I'm going to move it to the end of the... Eh, it doesn't matter. Right, cool we got rid of the weeds so we can go back to clovers there got rid of the uh yeah 12 people that's great we're almost at 150 so that one house upgraded we're also moving our way towards tier three um and as you can see we need to put the clovers back here and we're gonna put wheat here too so we're gonna have a big 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 amount of uh, i might have to get a second windmill up uh, we're gonna have a lot more flour though flour is a good trade item too if you have too much of it we keep getting milk spoilage and this is kind of blowing my mind um so the people people in the beginning before would drink milk before they would do any eat anything else so very very odd actually i'm just gonna leave that alone um okay so pretty much got everything we can do uh, once we hit tier three, the game really starts to ramp up, but we gotta like slow our roll. We don't want to over expand our industry. I'm probably thinking that glassware is gonna be where I focus my infrastructure. I don't have any coal, so I'll have to produce it. Um, that's gonna take a bit of firewood. So yeah, the wood's really starting to come to fruition now and all of my, all, everything I've done so far is, is really paying off. Everything is being used. We have really good work ratios on these, 79%. Pulling in 96 wood on the bad forester. Pulling in 220 on the good forester. Just pulling in an enormous amount of wood. Just got the second basket shop up. Put that up to two. We're going to start trading lots of baskets at, at the uh, trading post here. Just kind of checking out everything. Yeah, I mean, we're doing pretty good. Um... Right right now, I think we're getting really close to that bulk stage where you just kind of keep the status quo going. We're in year 19. And just slowly, I'm probably going to start expanding the third layers of walls. I mean, I might as well. So we can see how much wood this is going to take. So this is 54 wood right here, which is quite a bit of wood. Um, and it... Yeah, it, it takes a bit. It takes a bit of wood. But it looks very nice. And 
Yeah, let's just do it. Do it to it. Alright, and then the third one. Alright, we're gonna have to move this well. Um, I guess we should move right here. And then we can get the rest of that wall situated. Let's just have them build. Oopsie daisy. That does not work that way. Or actually, maybe it does. Uh, might, uh, might go down one here. Let's just get this right. I just have a one tile gap between everything. So it makes it easy to organize everything when you just use that same rule of thumb. One tile gap. Okay, cool. So that's how this goes. And there we are. Oh my gosh. Sometimes sputter fingers. So we're gonna put we're gonna put some gates in here. They are going to town. But yeah, we're gonna just have this massive I'm gonna get this up before I expand anything else too. Like let's just do it. Um this side's gonna be a little wonky. Is uh, it's uh, it's got a whole nother section to it, but and the suicidal bears, man, suicidal bears. But yeah, we should definitely start really beefing up our defenses. And this is what I'm talking about. When I rapidly expand, I don't want to be doing this. I want this to be done. Like you want as much of the advance work done as possible, so you can focus all of your attention into building that new area. Out. So it used to like do all of the layers on the whole building one at a time now i just like complete the whole section of the entire design before i even move on to the to the next thing but we have an enormous amount of wood um like uh, this is going to cost a lot of wood but it's it's totally worth it the chicks dig it looks cool and yeah, it looks kind of kind of messed it, it looks kind of messy but like some kind of world war one nightmare but it works. We're just waiting on the trader right now to get that last cow. Village is being raided. All right, please come from the east. Oh my god, they're coming from the north. All right, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put two people in these towers. I need like a, a pretty heavy defensive area. So let's see if these towers can hold. If I had three layers of walls, they would hold. Right, these are some weak bandits, luckily. So, they're gonna die. And they're running around, which actually is not good. It's like the others are running around to that side. They've got quite a few of them. They're probably gonna break into that tower up there. Um, I'm gonna send my barracks up over here. There's quite a few of these dudes, and so I can start utilizing my my guys to start shooting these dudes with arrows and i actually can manually control most of this those guys are dead that's cool but this is why i compartmentalized everything so it's like they break into one area and they doesn't mean they have access to everything else these guys are all gonna die because the town center is great again i use the town center as a super tower for defense you really should do that it, that's like it's one of the best defensive items in the game all right, cool. And let's get these dudes over here. We got bows. So, everybody's having a good time, it looks like. And they destroyed a small park. So this is, that hurts. That's money. It's, oh shit, wasn't paying attention. Um, Man, some of these soldiers are pretty weak. Okay. And we got one dude over here. I will definitely Definitely try to kill him. Alright, let's watch this. If I can get them to run, the bet all the better. Um need to get them off this tower. Oh, I got him off the tower. Oh god, I got him off the tower. Well, we're about to go into a British comedy right here. I can lead them over, or I'm gonna lead them towards this tower and have them retreat. Retreat into this area, and the towers will kill the int Yeah, there we go. Perfection. Looks like I, um. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna keep leading them. Okay, cool. 
cool, 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 cool. They did do a lot of damage, though. Uh, it's not cheap to repair those towers, and that's my fault for not having multiple layers of walls up. Cool. We're okay, though. Um, yeah, I mean, considering that the defenses aren't completed, we're doing good. And this is the population. I mean, we're only three, three people away from our max. So it's not going to get any harder than what... Well, it's not true. It can actually get a little bit harder. But relatively, it's not going to get too much harder. Oh my god, you got to be kidding me, man. Can't you just let my people be? Alright. Everyone get in the thing and kill the bear. Kill that stupid bear. Perfection. Do we got a cow? Do we got a cow? We got a cow! Let's get two cows. Perfection. Ooh, stone. Alright, so my next goal is going to be the bulk stage, as I described it. And we're going to be buying cows. See, they're only paying they're paying 13 for a basket, which is awful. I'm not going to sell baskets at that, that level. Look how much freaking wood we have. Um, okay, cool. So, we got the cows going. So, when we hit tier 3, the first thing I'm going to do when I hit tier 3 is build a cheesemaker. That's... That's a money maker. I know they nerfed it. I think you can get like three or four gold per chase, but that's still a lot of gold. So even though it's not like insane, it's still really good. Um, cheese was definitely broken. You were, you were making insane like returns on cheese. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just crazy. I do think that I need to build more of these two. Let's do that. Get a little bit more. Um, it looks like we should probably build a little bit more grain storage, especially because things are about to get real. Alright, let's build one. I think I'm not going to sell. Alright, I want to move this to its spot. Move it over here, because I need to start getting this area ready for wagons and grain and vents, everything else. And then we have the defensive structures over here. We've got a barracks. Actually, may, maybe having it here would be a good idea, because it will concentrate the enemy on this area, which will be good, because it's one of my better areas. Cool, and they're planting trees out here. And now we're really going to start to see those cows go. I'm going to put four people here. Ooh, birch trees are getting up to five. They're still not cutting anything down, though. Maybe they are. It says that they are. Um, hmm. I'll have to let that play out. How many people do we got building? Ten. Bump that up to 14. Let's bump that up to 16. We got a lot of walls to put down. I'm not going to put any more walls down until the rest of this area is, is done, but I will will do this. Get those gates up. But yeah, this is a mighty fortress. Gotta get all that stuff up. Cool. We're looking pretty good there now. One month of food. Perfect. Alright. I'm gonna do my first uh, 24. We have a lot of crops that are coming gonna come in. So, one, two, three... Four. That will be um wait, I need twelve. So I need six. Six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Farm or hunting cap. Gonna expand the rest of this out. Oh crap. Means I'm gonna have to cut down some of these trees. Yeah, because that's yeah. Yeah, whoopsie daisy. Miscalculation there. That's fine though. It's just a couple trees I'll have to cut down. I'm making good progress though, that's for sure. Alright. And we're gonna get the rest of this out to 12. By 12. Boom. Perfect. Alright, we got five five months worth of food. That raid I think that raid kind of threw some stuff off. And the uh, the stem rot. So the diseases are pretty, pretty severe. Yeah. Hmm. It's just this one area. So we're going to give it some time. We're going to give it a, a year off next year to get that disease down. And then we'll be good again.
Actually, it looks like... Um, yep, yeah, just those trees right here. Call for wood. All these trees right here have to go. It's not a big deal. I can just shift it. Why are you doing this to me? I'm not even clicking anywhere near those other trees. All right, cool. Let's just get this area ready. We're probably going to have to rapidly expand our agriculture once we... Uh, I just want to be... Uh, you. Once you start expanding, you want to be able to do it pretty quick. And it takes quite a bit of time to uh, build these areas up. Let's prioritize that. Luckily, we got road systems through all of this. Let's get the roads going out and then about. We got frost, we got stem rot, we got rot, we got animals eating stuff. How we have rot, we collected everything already. That's so funny. Very minor, minor, oh, it's uh, could be the stem rot. I don't know. Could be the glitch rot. We'll have to find out. Could be uh, an efficiency thing. It is the bottom most crop furthest away from people. I think once we get stone roads, we'll be okay. That's another good thing about tier three. One of the main things I'm gonna focus on is cheese and upgrading roads. Do need to accumulate more stone. A lot more stone, in fact. Um, yeah, we just don't have the people for it. Um, once we start upgrading all these to tier three, and we're gonna focus on tier three housing, because uh, we'll produce a lot more money, which will help us afford our defenses, and it will unlock extra housing they seem to be no he got 17 last year yeah so 173 cool 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 but you see this is the problem uh it just takes forever for these things to grow and they're still at like five so so far my theory has been holding pretty steady that, that birch trees do suck so these are five and these would already be like not like these would already be like um their low trees are like six and then they go to 11 these just go to seven. They go from five to seven. <laughs> These go from five to 11. Way, way bit big of a difference. All right, let's look at our other stuff. There's more to success here. We're going through arrows so fast. Like we just had none, now we have 95. Or maybe it just loaded. Um. We need to keep an eye on that. We got an enormous amount of will, even with two basket makers. Things are doing good. We got lots of grain, so we got lots of food reserves. Uh, most likely, what it needs to be done is we need to get another windmill. Um, probably need to get some heavy tools going. But I'm just gonna get that extra little crop up. I guess I could start making shirts, yada yada. So I'm saying you go down that rabbit hole of industry, and you just get you just go overboard. Um, do I need shirts? Like, yeah, I do. Um, but it requires multiple industries. Um, I'm doing fine without it. I'm doing fine without that. I have my happiness high enough. If I were in a situation where it would, like, my happiness is really low, I'd probably make shirts. But right now it's really high, so, um, holy shit, 993 coats. Yeah, that's broken. 1,000, yeah, they never fixed that. That's, don't, don't worry about that. That's totally wrong. That's a, that's a glitch. They don't need 2,000 jackets. This is not a fashionable Italian village. This is, people were cast out. Casted out to the depths of wherever the hell this is. We got three cows, though. Once you get three cows, you're on the path. We have a 0% birth rate at 79% fodder quality. That's kind of weird. All right. We got 17 gold per basket. That's perfect. We're going to sell some more of those. We could buy more bricks, which is definitely a good idea. Buy shirts at 15. I could produce them. 
No, I'm gonna... I don't think my people need shirts right now. If they wanted shirts, they should have, uh... They should have worked harder. I don't think 26 bricks is worth it. Um... We're just gonna hold on to our money. We do need, um, heavy... Like, we do need lots and lots of stuff, but let's just hold on to our money. Uh, we're at 150, so yeah, we're gonna start to see compost problems. About... I found that 125. You need a compost for about 125 uh, workers. I like to keep them out outside and near the fields. Uh, I know I said I was going to do a 12 by whatever here, but maybe not. Maybe I'll just do another compost yard there because we need it. And then on, same thing on the left side for this. I'll have probably two or three compost piles. Probably two, two is enough because two is going to get you 250 and two more will be 250. And I don't think this goes over 500. It goes to like 450. So four compost should be sufficient. Uh, two per residential area. Oh, man. So muscle memory. I'm so used to going over there. All right, cool. What do we got over here? Ooh, 11 gold per candle. That's actually a terrible price. But it looks like they nerf candles, maybe. The the, the ranges are actually really wild. Um, so a really bad price for cheese is three gold, which actually surprises me because that's a decent... We could buy two cows. Alright, so you're going to think I'm crazy. Which I am. We've already discussed this. Um, but I th personally think it's critical to get these cows up to 10 and to get a birth rate. Because once I get the milk flowing and I get a cheese factory, you saw that. You saw how I can make 500 cheese. I can easily sell it for three, four gold. At four gold, you know, 500 cheese, that's two grand a year just in cheese so and people buy cheese all the time so right now i need 200 clay i need 200 boards i have all that and i need 2000 gold so i just need to um i need to find a balance between making money and spending money we got soap i'm just gonna throw that in here i'm not gonna sell it five gold for boards is pretty good because one wood is two boards so that's basically one wood is equal to 10 gold so board i need a lot of boards too um right now i'm just trying to trying to get money so i'm just going to sell anything that i can for money that i have access to. i'm going to hold on to my clay though because that's that's going to go real fast once i start spending it and okay we got the other the other scooper guy up really wish they would allow us to have two people per compost yard instead of me having to have so many freaking compost yards hopefully they do that um I'm still not feeling this, the, the birch trees, but, uh, see, look at that. They're, they're getting weird. They're touching, they're touching the plants. I don't know what they're doing. I don't want to know what they're doing. I'm going to come over here. I don't want to, uh, let's, uh, let's go away from that. Pretty post as a travel merchant. Here, here are some candles, traveler. Give me money. We're at 150. Um, yeah, I guess I could have... Whatever. I needed those cows. Oof. Losing the beans. Man, we're... Our spoilage is pretty high right now. Bring in 300 fruit. Eventually, this will be 1,000 fruit at peak. Let's check our spoilage rates. Vegetables, fruit, and dairy. Why are they not drinking the milk? This is... I'm moving this over here for now. I'm going to put another windmill down there. I need to um, build this in correctly per the design I have. Yeah, I have two root cellars here. And that's going to be kind of vital to getting this uh, milk more efficiently out. But I'm really upset about how much milk is going to waste. It's uh, Actually, I might just put the cheese maker there for now. But yeah, we're just building up money. And once we get the money, we get the cheese. Then we get the power. And then we get the women. I think that's how Scarface goes. And that movie was about cheese, right? Yeah. That's what it was about. Ah, crap. We're at that, we're at that point where food or clothing. 
They're getting unhappy. Food ha seems to have a huge pressure on happiness. It's very interesting. Um, and our food seems to be fluctuating in a way that's very odd. But we, um, the way we have things going, we have, we have multiple things going. Um, I think what I need to do is bump up the baker here to two people. We got resources. Let's take a gander at the goods. Um, it sounded really weird the way I said that. Uh, I literally meant let's look at the goods. Um, we got 780 flowers, so we could definitely increase bread production. I might even have to boot this up to three people. All right, cool. We have 600 wood. So you can see that like uh, we're really starting to, to lay thick on the wood. Cool. So we got that done. Let's just work on uh, layer one for now. And see where that takes us. Let's get one layer up in front of all this stuff here. That will help. It will help the defenses tremendously. And they build really quickly now. Yeah, the birch trees look really nice, but they suck as far as... Oh, wow, 165. I. So this is what's freaking me out. I don't even see them cutting anything down. Like, they're just going out, and they're touching the trees, and they're getting wood. Like, it says that they're, like, pl this is, like, the planting thing. But they're not planting anything. These trees, these trees have already been here. So maybe... Maybe they're doing some weird stuff over here to these trees, and the trees are giving them wood. And they're not cutting them down. It's like they're, it's like they're glitched out. This is actually kind of funny because it looks like um, they're f no. See, they're still underproducing the maples, um, but quite a bit. This is pulling in 250, like I said it would. This is pulling in 65. All in all, though, all of my complaining side. Sorry, uh, it's still really good. Even 165 is actually really good, like relative to the old way of doing things, where you're lucky to get 70 or 100 if you're. You're going off or you have to plant everything manually and you're lucky to get 150 so even this crappy little birch farm is still su st substantially better than what it used to be like to, to do forestry in this game so very cool very encouraging making they're making lots of really cool new features to the game so um people are unhappy because the food food's going down and i wonder they're bringing in quite a bit. He's bringing in quite a bit. Okay, cool. So this is up. We got to get rid of the weeds here. Um, I'm going to put this back to beans. So this is buckwheat, beans, and peas. And of course, we're going to have to get rid of the peas. We're going to have to get rid of that. I think I'm going to do this, even though that's going to hurt me a little bit. Um, but that will get the weeds down and it will give a year away from the beans and everything. And then these plants just don't even give a shit. They're just happy. All right, and we gotta bump the workers down. This should only be 12, 12 workers. So it went up to 20, so that's eight workers that you don't need on this field. We'll see, we'll see if they screwed up farming so much that I'm wrong. But it used to be able to do this no problem. Let's get another apiary up over there. It's still a lot of people. And it kind of cycles people between the crops, so. And they're doing their little turn up dance. Yeah, uh, we're definitely. I think we're definitely going to need to look at our food situation. Little not understanding how things are. Vegetables are spoiling substantially. The beans are spoiling. They're just not eat. They're eating a lot of meat and protein, which is cool. They're eating all the grain. Fantastic. The dairy is expiring, which blows my mind, because dairy would was always one of the first things to be consumed. That just leads me to believe I need to get the cheese maker up ASAP. Um, but more so, it also leads me to believe that they made some changes 
that they didn't test because it was working. When I was doing this, spoilage rates were really far down, and they still are. Um, now these are still way up, but they were way better. Um, the market now acts as a root seller. Upgraded market acts even better. Um, so I don't know what's going on. I'm going to put two people in the market square, though. All right, we got ourselves a merchant. And he's buying soap at 11, and I will take it. That's 7, and that's 2, and that's tier 3. And that's how that works. So we're booting up the tier 3, my friends. Tier 3 in the house. Okay, 62 crops. Alright. I think we're going to be okay. I'm a little freaked out, though. This is going to be an immense... Oh, we got to get the weeds down on this. That's one thing that's hurting. And then the, uh, the disease was not helping. The diseases are almost gone, though. This will... Um, turnips and <laughs> so now we have club root okay I see the game you're playing playing with my my life but that's like yeah 17 1600 harvestable turnips even with the disease that's boom look at that three months worth of food that's what I'm saying these these uh, 12 by 24s just 12 people I know I could boot it down to 11 I'm just gonna keep it at 12 for now because I am a little freaked out um about not knowing everything and knowing all the changes 12 people i mean considering that they say 20 and i say 12 it's a pretty good return already we're already like why push it i, w I mean i will push it eventually i'll push it down to 11 and see if it's good but for now um i need to stabilize my food production i don't want to make a critical mistake and have the whole village die i don't think people will watch my, my videos that much if everybody died like that 1600 gold for selling all those boards i'm gonna put the rest of the boards back to town got 610 yeah we're um our economy has grown substantially but you've seen that i've i've done the work and i've taken baby steps and i haven't overstretched myself i haven't done every single industry i've said okay like what do i have that makes sense like i have willow let's make baskets i have extra hides let's make shoes like those are the things that make sense i'm not like, you know, building flax farms and building weave, uh, weaving buildings. Because weaving buildings actually take a lot of workers. It's a very heavy and intense uh, work amount of, of stuff. So this goes back to people who are resource. Like, I don't have a lot of people. But I need to grow my economies in ways that are intelligent. 13 people. Um, I'm going to turn them away for now. All except zero people. It won't let me just take. I don't care. Why, why are they bugging me? Anyway, but yeah, it's just like, you gotta be smart, and you gotta, like, don't let your eyes get bigger than what you can handle. Like, do things intelligently. This only took four people, and it's bringing in a lot of milk, and that's, that right there is worth almost 2,000 gold, if I can sell it right. The cheesemaker and a couple people, so that's a really small investment of people for a very large return. And here we go, we got baskets, and they don't have enough money for me. They're buying baskets at 21, they're buying baskets at 21, so don't matter who I sell it to. Sell it to this gentleman here. Uh, he's selling heavy tools. We need a heavy tool because we don't, we need a spare. We can't afford our windmill to break. Always make sure you have one heavy tool. I'm gonna buy some of these uh, clubs because we have no melee weapons. I'm gonna sell this guy some shoes. I'm taking every dollar I can from this gentleman. Alright, tier 3, tier 3, tier 3. Once we hit tier 3. Ooh, we should actually... Uh, any of these guys got bricks? Okay. We're gonna have to craft our own bricks, most likely. These guys are just giving up on me? What the heck? Alright, tier 3, tier 3. Boom, tier 3. So many things are gonna happen now. Glassmaker is gonna come next too. Okay, let's baby step this cheese maker. 75 bricks. Okay, that's gotta go up. That's incredibly important. But this means two things. One, I need a coal maker. I'm gonna put the coal maker here for now. 50 stone. Yikes. Um, 
and then I also need a brick maker. Now I put my brick makers outside because they do not get attacked by raiders, or at least they didn't get attacked by raiders. Um, I don't know if that's the case now. So let's uh, let's test it. Let's put it outside and make sure that that still is the case. I believe it is still the case. I played the play testing and they ran right by it. They even ran by the tanneries and the barns. So. We'll get that up, we'll get that up, and we're also going to want to get up one more firewood splitter to make sure that we do not uh, run out. Let's put that guy here, and the design granaries go here. I'm just going to put this here until I can get my second industrial area all hammered out, but I want to make sure that we have a lot of firewood production going. Um, takes eight firewood for four coal. That looks pretty good to me. Let's leave it at two people. Oh, wow, look at how fast they're building everything. Beautiful. And you can even see over here, they're doing a good job. And we're starting to produce so much wood that I can't I can't spend it as fast as I'm getting in. So that's pretty fun. Oh, I bet I can. I'm great at, I'm great at sp spending all my wood. So I'm going to do that. Boom, look at that. Isn't that pretty? No, I know it's not. Um, but it looks uh, beefy as hell. So, cool. We got uh, Influenza on one villager. Just one sick. I'm actually surprised I haven't had a lot more uh, famine. Okay. So here's the problem. Gotta boot this down. We need more people. So, this is it. You only have so many people. Alright, cool. So we have brick production. We're gonna boot that up to four. Because we just need coal and clay. And, uh... We're going to boot this up, too. I'm going to boot all these down. I just want to get that 20. I just want to get the cheese production going. Because now I can get money from selling cheese. I can upgrade. First off, I'm going to upgrade the trading post next. Just need 500 gold and uh, 50 bricks. And I have... If I can buy bricks, I'm going to start buying bricks. Um, so I can upgrade this so I can get better tra traders. Higher level traders that buy cheese and have more money. Um, so we're there th th and, and watch what I'm doing carefully here. This is actually good advice. Like some of the stuff is preference. This is actually good advice. Get your cheese maker up first, right? Get your cheese up, then focus on upgrading your trade post. In order to do that, you need to put a lot of your focus into charcoal and put all the focus you possibly can into producing bricks. If you can buy bricks to facilitate the advancement of these buildings, do it because the money I'm going to make off cheese is going to dwarf any of the money I spent doing this. And the sooner I get that up is the sooner I can start using that money to buy everything else that I need, which is more bricks for decorations, gold for dec uh, the gold I can make off the cheese for decorations, and stone. I can buy stone to help build everything up. Otherwise, you're going to bottleneck yourself in a build and you're going to be selling baskets you're gonna be selling shoes at the mall and it's gonna take you forever. So definitely get your cheese production up. And a lot of everything that I've done here kind of seems chaotic and it is, but there is organization to my chaos. Like I literally got the barn up and everything as I advanced into tier three, it like kind of sent a lot of stuff that I've been doing seems kind of last minute, but there's a lot going on in this game. So. It's not, it's not easy just to say do X, Y, Z, like, because you have so many variable factors, you have disease hitting your crops, like you have to respond to events and that takes you away from like the general idea. But this has been like my time tested strategy is barn, cheese, <laughs> uh, barn milk, cheese, and selling it, upgrading trade post to get better traders who buy cheese more often, have more gold so you can sell larger bulk items. So say maybe, only one trader comes who buys cheese and you have 800 of it. He, he has enough money to buy all of it. He'll have like six or 8,000 gold because um, the lower tier traders don't have that much money. So anyway, everything that I've done has led to this moment in this in this playthrough. And I've done, honestly, I, I've done a good, pretty good job. <laughs> uh, I, like I could be a lot further behind than I am right now. I'm, I'm actually like making really good time. As, as far as I'm concerned. So we're going to make sure this is prioritized so that all the bricks are coming here. We're gonna make sure that we have trade items ready. 
I never sell my pelts anymore, unless I'm desperate. If you're desperate, sell what you gotta sell. But if you're not desperate, don't worry about it. Um, we can definitely sell the, the, the honey. We're gonna have plenty of it. Eventually I'll start making alcohol. I can actually start making alcohol now. But I'm, I'm not really in a place where I have any spare workers for industry. And we make about 50 bricks per year. So about half a year until I have 28 bricks, unless I happen to get a trader, which will greatly speed things up. And a bear came in and terrorized this whole area. Hey, look at that. The disease is gone. So we're on easy street now. It does appear Smoker was doing a good job and now he's not doing a good job. But we didn't, they're eating, I think the raw meat. Oh no, look at that spoilage rate. That's not that bad of a spoilage rate. Vegetables. Oh wow, look at that. The spoilage rate in vegetables went way down. Dairies skyrocketing. I gotta get that to cheese ASAP. I also gotta work on my defenses. 25 raiders. So we're at 150 people in the hardest difficulty. And we're still managing to get really... It really starts to scale once you get into the three and 400 people range. Um, starts scaling pretty fast. And the raiders are variable, like what kind of armors they have. Um, so, you can, so here we can see why I have a double fence. So before they'd be beating on this and be beating into the tower. Now they're not even through the first defenses. Well, that guy is. But you see, we were able to kill a lot of them. Um, and I do need to trade here. Sorry, I know it's mid-battle, but uh, three gold per stone. Okay, so this is necessary. 474 stone. You know how long it would take me to mine 474 stone? And that's not a lot of gold, that 1500 I spent. That's one cheese run. And that's what I'm talking about, like cheese, even at three or four gold per cheese, I'm, I'm still, I'm still loving that. Um, hmm. Let's get the cavalry over here. All right, so we have these guys in the bottlenecks, and this is designed so that these gates and bottlenecks are like within the perfect distance of this tower. I, I stole, I mean, I didn't steal this. I stole it from myself. I took this design from the Legion Shield, but I spent a really long time developing the Legion Shield to be perfect to, for the, the placements of towers and everything to intercept with gateways so that you just had the best defense possible. And you gotta be smart, like about this stuff. Like if I were one off, they would just be beating through and going into my city. They wouldn't be getting pelted right now. So you really do have to be like surgical and, and thoughtful in how you place things and like how everything intercepts. That's like my biggest thing is like, you wanna look at your entry points and make sure that your towers on the corners are lining up so that everything is, is really well defended. And we're fucked here. <laughs> They broke through here. I need more towers on this side. I need at least two towers. So they're going to break this and they're going to break the market, which really sucks because I don't have enough. I don't care about the people dying. The more will come. Um, if they break that market, though, I'm going to be screwed because I don't have enough bricks to repair it, I don't think. Cool. I got, um, I got this soldier guy here. So I'm going to try to skirt a few of these dudes away. If I can skirt him away, I can distract him. And if I can distract him, I can teach them. I don't, I don't know. Um, I just need to get them the fuck away from everything. And people are going to die, and uh, that's part of life. This guy, though. This guy's pissing me off. Alright, cool. So he's coming in here. They're getting kind of, kind of weird. Man, all right. I don't know how. I need to hit them and run, basically. So that they chase. Okay, this guy needs to die. Oh shit, they're only doing one damage to him. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I got their attention at least. People are dying, but I need to run them towards the, uh, the tower. That was ruthless. That was really ruthless.
Make sure there's two people in there. Get the rest of these defenses up and we'll be okay. They won't be able to do that again to me. I, I needed an extra tower in the corner. It's all right. And it's alright. People die. Part of the game. Not everyone gets to live. They killed a lot of people too. They killed like five people. The, the raiders are definitely more aggressive than I remember them. They're definitely a little bit tougher in some respects and not in others. Um, and we needed those five people. Well, at least we got more food. Got more food for everybody else now. Pop, 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 pop that down. I need to make sure all of my industries are running at peak. I think we got the cheesemaker coming up, so... Cool. Bumping this down. Bumping this down. Putting that at four. I think that should be a good conversion. So we got the cheesemaker right here. I might actually switch up my design a bit instead of having root sellers here. Have those cheesemakers. Because I actually don't even need two root sellers here. Three root sellers here and three root sellers over there is going to be... I mean, when you upgrade these to 2,500, that's... 7,500. So that's 15,000 food I can hold in this whole build. So if I need more than that, I'm doing something wrong be honest for 400 people this this actually was built to store the two here were meant for the uh, southern part of the base which had another uh, in residential area so I definitely can actually modify this design and uh, put the cheesemaker here I think it's a great spot for it too just having that massive proximity well they didn't attack anything over here but they did also didn't come from the side we're down to 55 wood. The um, birch trees are still really bad. Um, you come over here, I'm doing 236, and they're planting trees as they cut them down. Yeah, then birch trees suck. <laughs> Successfully determined that. All right, so a lot of things happened. We're, we're cranking up the defenses. We're going to be okay. Like, um, it's not the end of the world. And we're gonna we're gonna survive we're gonna we're gonna make it through the day i probably just need to get a couple more towers up in this corner need to get the walls up we got cheese i'm gonna start saving up the bricks and money to upgrade the trading post next and everything else is doing pretty damn well um they, they do look nice though i'll give them that first trees do look very pretty it looks like we have no rot going on, so the 12 workers are sufficient. That's going to be an insane amount of grain. Um, and our food, I think, is going to really start to take off here. I think, actually, I'm going to have to get another windmill up pretty dang soon. Got a lot of stored grain. I might even have to boot up bakery, but I think that the bread of 810 is actually more than enough bread. Um, they're just kind of wasting food right now, and it's Kind of blowing my mind. Man, I'm also, I think they're eating a lot of raw meat, which I don't know how they're doing because I told the market not to hold raw meat. So I don't know how they're eating it. Oh, 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 oh. We got to tier three. And we have six. We bought all that stone. Bought all that stone for a reason. All right. I'm going to do this before the episode ends because it's important. We're going to get the primary residential road here and here into stone and we want to get this main road here and here we want our, our wood people moving as fast as possible this will dramatically increase productivity even though I don't really need productivity because I'm going wood out my rear end um, this is why I mean I know some people they leave it up to their labor it's like I got 12 people just bringing in all the wood I could ever need. Um, and then I'm also going to probably start selling wood at some point. Because it does it does pull in some decent money. I'm upgrading my entire industrial area. I, um, I just think it's definitely a, a good thing to have a fully upgraded industrial area. And I'm also going to fully upgrade every road around my farming because the faster these guys move the less likely we'll have rot 
better my food intake will be. So there we go. We're going to start seeing a lot of upgraded roads. I want to thank you so much for watching. This was a longer episode because a lot of stuff was happening. The next episode is going to focus around refining everything, tier 3. And then within a couple of episodes, I'll be in the bulk up stage. So thank you for watching.